Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to discuss the graphical representation of equations using MATLAB. So for this, we will we have some ready uh, supporting files, scripts. We will be discussing one by one. Let's start with the very basic parabola ones. So if we talk about the left bound, right bound, some steps we have defined, we have defined the n incremental. We are defining how it's going to be the x. So if we take x as a vector, it's left bound step and the right bound. And thereafter, we define the y. And finally, we define the f function, which is dependent on our unknown x. So the equation is ax square plus bx plus c. And then we run our function for the number of y times, which is until n. And we plot this. So for the plotting, we use this command, which is also initializing the x label, y labels, the title, the grids we want on the, and the axis, which we want it to be square. And then the axis range, which is minus four to two and minus one to five. So this is how we can define how we want our plotting. We plot the second graph and the equation is the same. The things are equal, but here we have a very clear specification of the line color red and the width of the line is two. We can define uh, various uh, definitions of the lines and then we just plot these things. So if we run it through, it gives us these two graphs with the specified y-axis, x-axis, the title, how we want to plot it. It's all the zeros and then the lines. This is just a basics of any equation you want to plot it. We start from the basics and slowly we gradually we grow ahead. Then we go to the second one that is the two functions 2D. If we want to publish this one, or like two lines or two graphs, you want to plot it in the same graph, then this is the way. So these all things are same, not much a difference, but here we have defined two y's, y1 and y2, and then we have two a, b, and c. And thereafter we have defined two functions, f1 and f2, where it depends on a1, b1, and c1, the first equation f1, along with our decision variable x. Similarly, we have the f2, which is also depend on x, but also the constants or you can say coefficients of a2, b2, and c2. Then we run through it. We run two equations. So that is y1 and y2, which is f1 and f2, and we are plotting these values. And thereafter, we plot using these commands. So we define H as a plot where Y1 and Y2 both are there. One is red and one is blue line. And then we define H, the first part and the second part. And then we define the legions and then title, X label, Y label, right? Axis, we define it equal. And then we plot the line. So this is what is the second graph. Let's go and define uh, multiple. I'll just clear it up so that we can again run the next one. So next one is 10. Here you can see we, we target to define two line. One is the cot and one is the 10 function. Okay. So two different equations we want to plot. So we define, first of all, the x range, which is 0 0.1 to 1.5, uh, sorry, 0 0.1 to 5, and incrementing every 0.1, all right? Then we have y1 as a 10 of x, and y2 as a cot of x. So these are the two equations we want to plot, right? So then we can have first plot, and then we hold on. So especially, this is the first line we are plotting, that is red line, right? And with the similar things I have already discussed, but our y1 equation is plotted with reference to x. Then we hold on. We use this to plot two graphs at the same, in the same figure. 
and then we use the second plot command right with a blue line but our x versus y2 then we have hold off and then it is the specification of legends title x label and y label so this is how when we run it it gives us this approach so this is the graph and the final one if we want to have a advanced level so let's have a surface 3d so this is graphical representation of equations using mesh grid contour and so in this we are introducing three things so let's discuss one by one first of all we define x1 and y uh, sorry x1 and x2 we define a mesh grid and these are the parameters we give right and we have a function of f which depends upon x1 and x2 so we define that function. For example, the equation is x1 raised to 2 by 3 minus x2 raised to 2 by 15 plus 8. So this is the equation of our function. Now we plot mesh type of graph. We are plotting f with line width 1.5. So this will be giving us a surface wireframe like this. And then we define just the legend title, X label and Y label of our choice, right? Thereafter, what happens is we go to the second type, we define the figure, new figure, and then we have two subtypes. This is the first one, and this is the second one, right? So you can define two graphs parallel to each other using subplot. And we are defining the first section and the second section, right? And then we have a contour. Contour is this type of graph, which we define the x1, x2, f, and the line number of lines are 20. These all lines are 20, right? And then we define the legend title, x label and y label, where it is written x1, x2 here, right? The contours is written here. Right, and then the next subgraph, that is subgraph, the second one, right? M, N, and location, one, two, and two, right? And thereafter, CH, we define CH, we are defining as a contour X1, X2, F, and 10. Now here, the number of lines are 10, which was earlier 20, right? The number of lines we are reducing. Why? We, because we want to also display the contour values. So how to display the contour values using contour label and provide the C, which is here, right? And then H, H is what is here. So these two things will be printed. We define legend title, X label and Y label as part of a choice. So this gives us this kind of graph with its values. All right. Finally, we go to the third figure. It is the surf type. So we are shading. Now this will avoid uh, the greed. So shading interrupt. So this is this will remove the surf uh, edges of the surface, and then we define the same thing. It works similar to the mesh, right? But mesh had the grid line, right? Whereas surf doesn't have the grid line. So these are the four figures which we have defined. And we can use it to plot it as per our requirement. And MATLAB is the best for plotting the results in the form of equations and is a boon for the graphing of our disease. All good. So we end this video here. Thank you.